everyone, this is Grace from ShirtsandTutus.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful pinwheel style hair bow. Okay for everyone, so for this project we're going to need our glue gun, we're going to need scissors, a zip tie, we're going to need an alligator clip, a lighter, your favorite ribbon, a tape measure or your ruler. Okay everyone, so for the first step we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to cut 28 inches. So let's do that. Okay, almost there. 28. Alright, there. Okay. Alright. Now, for the first, uh, for I'm sorry, for the second step, we're gonna take the ends of our ribbon and we're gonna heat seal it. So let's take our lighter and let's do that. Perfect. Now, to make the bow, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take, my ribbon is satin and is a uh, one face. So I'm going to take the non-shiny part and I'm going to put it pretty much in my hand. We're, we're going to need about five inches for, um, for this first little uh, thing. So let's just, let's just double check. So we'll make sure that our ribbon is perfectly measured. Okay, so right here, right here where my thing, my thumb is, is about five inches. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna place it in my hand. You see how I place, I place that in my hand. Now we're gonna take the rest. We just gonna kind of place it over it like this. Make sure we got the the five inch like that. We're just gonna hold it right there. Now we're what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this rest and we're gonna do a little loop. And I'm gonna put it right inside, right inside there, just a little tip so uh, where my thumb is, so I can hold it. Okay, I grabbed it with my thumb. Now we're gonna do one more time. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make sure that right there is about the same. Now we're gonna put it on top, and we're gonna hold it with my middle finger over here in the back. Okay. Now the rest, we're going to have it, just finishing up the loop, and now we're going to put that right inside there, just like what we did to the next one, I mean, to the last one. So let's do that, let's put it right inside, and we're going to hold it with my thumb. Now this is what we have, kind of like a little, like a little four little thing, so what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm holding it, we're going to, we're going to, you can do it this way. Or you can do it from inside, it doesn't matter, as long as we start crunching it up. So let's just start. I'm going to do there and hold it. Now I'm going to go a little back and forth and you go back again. Now we did this side. Now we're going to do this side. Take the remaining and kind of make a little, little folds like this. One fold and then the other fold. Okay, now we have it like this. Now we're going to take our zip tie and we're going to put it right in the middle. Put it right in the middle and we're going to connect it. Oops. <laughs> we're going to connect it. There you go. Pull. We're going to pull a little bit. Okay. Don't pull everything. Just kind of where it's kind of tight. Nope. So we can see where the bowl is. Okay, now we're gonna have to pull a little more on this side of here. Make it even. Okay, now we pull over here. Make sure all both ends are the same. This one seems a little a little more, so we're gonna pull a little. 
just pull make sure all the sides are the same that's what we're looking for you need both sides to be the same all right just move into this side and pull this side just keep pulling until it looks good for you okay okay I already pulled all of my sides and it looks good so the next step we're gonna do we're gonna pull the pull the uh, zip tie make it really tight since we're comfortable with how it looks and after we pull it then we're gonna cut it so you grab your scissors or your nail clippers and let's just little trim the little the little tail now this is it this is what we got the front of the bow will have the two ends right on top one in opposite sides and the two little bows in a I'm sorry the two little little loops in each side and this is it it's nearly complete and this is how it should look like right now so our next step is we're gonna go back to our ribbon I like I always say this in my video but um I like to have just pretty much one size ribbon um, for pretty much most of my projects so but if you have in your stock if you have those little thin ones that you can cover up the the zip tie then you go ahead and do that I'm just gonna take a little strip of this ribbon I have here and I'm gonna use that to cover it up okay so let's seal the ribbon okay, come on later cooperate come on okay now the other side All right. perfect now what we're gonna do we're gonna take our glue gun and we're gonna put a little dab of glue right there a little dab great now we're going to cover it up. Beautiful. You can use this um, this uh, little uh, the little cover up a, a ribbon in a different color to make your bow stand out, or you can do the same color like I did. Doesn't matter. However you like. Okay. Now I'm going to separate the little legs. Make sure we don't get any glue on there. Now we're going to put a little glue in here. All right. Okay. Now the other side. Let's move that ribbon to the side. Put a little glue. Perfect. Okay. And here we go. This is what we got. Your pinwheel style hair bowl. I think it's very fun to make both. I mean, you can literally put them anywhere. I always say that in my videos, my videos, that you can just, you know, decorate um, your home, your clothing, you know, any craft things that you are doing, or even just, you know, regular hair bowls. And they're so beautiful. And they're so fun and easy to make. So there's so many different style hair bowls out there. I have um, many other um, hair bowl tutorials in um, my channel. So. Um, don't forget to check that out. But this is it. We're um, near complete. And um, now our next step is to put the um, the alligator clip. I'm going to use an alligator clip, but um, if you rather use like a hair tie or something else or even to put it on the um, like a headband or something, then you can do that. I mean, there are just endless possibilities with hair bowls. <laughs> okay, I put a little dab of glue in the alligator clip. Now let's put it to the back of the bow. Okay, we're going to hold it into place. Okay, make sure it stays there. Good. And um, if you're not sure what kind of clip to get, um, I really like these little alligator clips. The ones that little have teeth on them because they really grab onto hair really good and they really won't come off. So that's that's my opinion <laughs> but here it is guys this is the pinwheel style um, hair ball and I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was to make it like I said um you can leave these um this little ants right here straight cut like I have 
or you can cut it. And you know what? I'm going to show you how to do that in case you, if you haven't seen one of my videos. So what we do is you grab the end of it and you fold it this way. Okay? Like that. Make sure the ends are together because we want a, a little straight cut. Now we're going to cut it from right here to there. So let's just cut it in an angle. All right. And this is what you have, this little pointy thing. So you can have both of them like this, or you can have straight cut. It's however you like. It's just a matter of a preference. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy and quick it was to make this pinwheel hairball. So if you guys like this video, just give us your thoughts, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. We have, like I said, many other um, hairball tutorials. We also have a no sew tutu tutorial and a tutu bracelet tutorial. It's really fun. So, um... Don't forget to check that out. And also, don't forget to check out our website at shirtsandtutus.com. And um, we specialize in personalized items like um, tutu outfits, personalized vacation shirts for families, birthday parties. Um, it's pretty much any occasion. So don't forget to check us online at shirtsandtutus.com. And we'll see you next time.